So we are going to continue from where we stopped in our fleet MS version 2. So currently we are in step 34. So let's see. Uh, the last class was parent and child form. And today we are going to now do crowd and client, which is two columns. Meanwhile, before then, I gave a homework to you, which is part 35 that I gave you to do it as a homework. So to set up the crowd for contact. Did you do it? If that's the case, then, then that's fine. So if we go to parameters now and I go to contact, you see there is nothing there. That's homework I wanted you to do. So basically it means copying from country and using it to make the contacts page, okay? So if you've not done it, let me quickly do it right now. So basically, let me just show you what we are going to do. Uh, so this is the application. We have, um, we have the contact controller here. I think I did it myself. I can't remember. Um, so Okay, so uh, yeah, so you can see that right here there is no contact. So quickly copy over the countries and use it to create the contact and test it, test it to make sure that it works. So I'm going to quickly do it right now and then we continue. All right, so I've completed copying and pasting. So basically what I did is I copied across the, the countries and then change it to contact and then modify the form. It takes a bit of effort to do this but that is what you should do at this time. So if I go to contact ad, you can see that I now have the first name, the last name. So instead of country, uh, capital, code, I have the first name, last name, email, mobile. How do I know what these fields are? Because if you look at the models, if I go to the models and you look at contacts, you can see that we have the fields here. So this is a field that you're gonna use to create your forms. Again, if you also have, if we also go to the contacts like here, so you see that we have, I decided to create a table and add all these items right there. Before I continue, let me just show you that I actually added some additional things to our list. So now I added uh, number 38. Now we are going to be doing add unit text, unit tests. I want us to, do, to learn about adding unit tests. And it's very interesting because you might encounter it in your interview or in some job role you are looking for, you need to know how to add unit tests and integration tests in your application. And then we're also going to attach a, an Angular UI because some have been asking me, why don't I use Angular or React? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create an Angular application that's gonna serve as a UI for the back end of this application. We're also going to create a React UI as well. And then I also added migrate to Postgres database. Sometimes if you are going to upload your application to the cloud, some free cloud services require Postgres. Uh, but now we are using MySQL. I'm going to show you how to use Postgres SQL in the back end. And you can actually switch between the two from Postgres to MySQL, depending on what you want to do. Then I have, I have also added part 50, create same node.js API. So instead of having Spring Boot API, we are now going to have Node.js API. Then I added number 53 and 54, set up local Kubernetes cluster and deploy this fleet MS version 2 to Kubernetes. So these are the things we are going to be doing. The, the reason I'm doing this is I want us to cover everything you need to know to create applications or to even apply for any job that relates to software development or relate to it, um, um, software engineering or roles like that. So let's test what, let's see where we are. So I'm going to um, run, uh, launch this application now and let's see, uh, test that the contact is working. So I'm going to rerun, rerun this application at this time. All right, so it started uh, well. So I'm going to refresh and go to parameters and um, this time contacts should work, but now it doesn't work. I don't know why. Contacts did not work. So let's troubleshoot. So now we are going to check the error, um, the trace, the error log here it says contact is not available. Then parameters contacts, why? But this is contacts is available and it's saying it's not available. So let's stop the application from running and um, parameters contacts, uh, it should be available. So why, why is it not working? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to right click on the application and then click on um, reload from disk. Okay, 
and we're just going to relaunch this application one more time and let's see what happens okay so I'm going to refresh and it still does not work so parameters contact um, so one thing we can do in a case like this because you can see that the, the template is actually there but it's not working that's where the bugging skills come to, comes into play so what I'm going to do now to solve this problem I'm going to try to close IntelliJ and reopen IntelliJ again because clearly the template is right here in the class in the in the, in the folder here but it tells us that it's not there and that is why it so let me just take a look one more look at the error trace it says um, parameters contact template might not be accessible um, so each time I always try to look look at the error message here so I'm going to close IntelliJ I'm going to close it and then I'm going to open it file open recent I'm going to open it one more time and I'm going to rerun okay so it started so let's go back to check um, so go back here and hit the enter key so now it's working so the solution to this problem was simply close IntelliJ and reopen it again and the problem is solved so I can actually add new uh, contact here I can just add myself and add another phone number remarks it's very well done for adding me an email is kk at yahoo.com and I'm going to let's say just add something else so I'm going to save so here it added you can see it added and if I go to details details is not work you can see um edits did not work as well so let's go solve the problem um edits for and details did not work so let's fix contact that id in line text 2 column 66 so let me go there um should be uh contact edit so it's going to be this um so i'm going to kind of close all this um in line text 2 column 66 you can see line text 2 column 66 it says it's not there and that's a problem so um also in details it should also be the same problem so if i go to the controller so if i go to parameters controller now you need to learn debugging skills and because the controller is supposed to send the id across to the form so if I go to the contact controller here and the page that is in, in charge of this or responsible is this, okay? So we have uh, find by ID, this is fine. So it should be fine. Um, so if I go back to the edits, uh, so if I go back to the controller, find by ID, that's fine. And go back to edits. Okay, so I'm going to go back, I'm going to come here and uh, instead of using optional here, I'm just going to remove the optional and just increase the fonts here. So I'm going to remove the optional from here and I'm going to do the same thing uh, in the service. So I'm going to go to services, contact service and remove optional from here. And instead of using optional, I'm going to simply come here and say that or else null, okay uh the controller and this is fine so i'm going to rerun this application one more time stop and rerun okay so it started so let's go check so i'm going back to the page so let's go back home first go back to parameters home and from here i'm going to manage contact and i have the list add new works exit and go to details now details works uh, so the problem was that that optional I used uh, was not right. So I'm going to exit and go to edit. Now edit works as well. So I'm going to maybe try to change something and save and save also works. So we've completed this homework. This is supposed to be your homework. The next thing we are going to do now should be part 35. Uh, so we completed part 35. So let me just play it up. And we are going to now move on to part 30, 
six, which is says cross for client, where we are going to be talking about a column that has two forms. So I'd like to stop here and please remember to subscribe. If you have challenges, please let me know. Uh, if you need this application, I'll go, uh, if you need this application, go right to my GitHub repository and clone it. But don't copy and paste. Try to write out the code yourself so that you see exactly how it works. And if you have any challenges whatsoever, please leave me a comment in the comment box below this video. And we we'll see you in the next part.